Hi everyone and welcome to Peach Tile. My name is Patience. In today's video, we are going to be making this beautiful armhole princess darts crop top with a flared long sleeve. Before we get started, kindly click the subscribe button. If you have done that, let's get into it. I'll be using this beautiful crepe fabric for the crop top and I'll be using this duchess fabric and the lining for the skirt which is going to be on the next video. I'll put the link on the description box. So I'll be drafting on this pattern paper. I've gone ahead to mark my shoulder line and I'll mark half of my shoulder measurements plus half inch for sewing allowance. And I'll mark the width of the neck, which is four inches. And I'll mark the depth of the neck, which is also four inches. Now on the shoulder line, I'll come down by one inch for my shoulder slant. And I'll make a slant line to the neck this way and I'll curve the neckline from the one inch I'll mark the chest line which is also the armhole line that is eight inches in order to get a straight line I'll mark from the eight inches to the shoulder line that is nine inches I have marked the shoulder measurement on the chest line so I'll connect it this way. To create the arm side, I'll mark the midpoint of this line which is 4 inches and I am drafting the front piece so I'll, from the 4 inches I'll go in by 3 quarter inch and make a slant line to the tip of the shoulder this way. On the chest line, I'll mark quarter of my bust circumference, which is 10 and a half inches. And I'll add one inch for side seam, that is 11 and a half inches. And I'll make a curve this way. I'll mark my shoulder to bust point, which is 10 and a half inches. I'll also mark my shoulder to half length. So my shoulder to half length is 16 inches. I will add one inch for hemming allowance, that is 17 inches. But I marked 18 and a half inches here. After making the dress, I noticed it was too long. I had to reduce one and a half inches. So you want to make sure to mark the exact shoulder to half length and add one inch for hemming allowance. Now I am going to mark my bust span. Bust span is the horizontal distance between the two apex points of your bust. Mine is 8 inches divided by 2 is 4 inches and I'll add half inch that is 4 and half inches. I'll also mark the 4 and half inches on the hemline. On the bust point I'll come down by 1 inch. I'll ensure it is at 4 and half inches and I'll connect it this way. On the front piece, I'll be using one and a half inches for my dart. So I'll mark three quarter inch on both sides and create my dart. I'll mark quarter of my waist circumference plus this one and a half inches for dart. And I'll add one inch for side seam. Now to create the armhole princess dart, I will make a curve from this four and a half inches to the midpoint of the armhole using a curved ruler. This way, after doing that, from the midpoint, I will come down by one inch. I am going to be extending the arm side. So from this one inch, I will go up by one and a half inches this way. And from the one and a half inches, I'll connect it to this four and a half inches for bust span. I'll make a curve this way. After doing that, I'll reshape the arm side this way and add half inch on the shoulder for sewing allowance. 
and I'll cut it out. So you want to make sure to add at least two inches for side seam allowance because of the armhole princess that or if you want to cut it this way you can add one inch on the side pieces for sewing allowance so i extended the arm side so that the side piece and the middle piece will align when i'm joining after joining i am going to reshape the arm side to cut out the back piece, I've marked this one inch for zipper allowance and I've also marked my shoulder line. Starting from the one inch, I'll mark half of my shoulder measurement. I'll also mark the same neck width. I'll mark two inches for the neck depth and I'll come down by one inch for my shoulder slant. I'll mark my chest line. I'll bring down the shoulder measurements to the chest line and connect it this way. And I'll mark quarter of my bust circumference plus the side seam. I'll mark the midpoint of this line and I'll go in by half inch and make a slant line to the tip of the shoulder this way and create the arm side. I'll mark my shoulder to the hem line and I'll mark the bust pan measurement on the chest line and the hem line. So on the chest line, I'll come down by two inches or two and a half inches. And I'll be using one inch for the dart. So I'll mark half inch on both sides and create my dart. And I'll mark quarter of my waist circumference and add this one inch for dart and one inch for side seam. I'll also add half inch on the shoulder for sewing allowance. Now to avoid zip bulge from the one inch for zipper allowance, I'll go in by half inch this way and I'll make a slant line from the half inch to the neck line and I'll cut it out. I'll cut it out on my fabric this way before I cut out the back tightening. I've done that, I've cut it out on my fabric. I also cut out a facing, so if you like, you can use a lining. I am going to place it this way, starting from one inch for zipper allowance, I'll sew by quarter inch and I'll also taking the dart i have also cut out the front piece i'll place the side pieces this way good sides together and i'll sew by quarter inch i also cut out a facing so i am going to sew by quarter inch round the neck i've done that After sewing, I notched and ironed. Also on the back piece, I've joined the dart and I also notched and ironed the facing. Now I'll be joining the front and the back piece. So I'll place the right sides this way and join the shoulder. I'll pin it down and sew by half inch and I'll also sew the one inch for side seam. I've done that. Now I am going to hem. I've done that.
the next thing i am going to do is to attach the zip so placing the right sides of the right side of the zip on the right side of the fabric and placing the zip half inch above the hem i am going to pin it down after attaching the zip i'll open it up this way and finish up the neckline sewing on top of the zip and then i'll sew close to the zipper teeth joining the facing i'll do the same thing on the other side i've done that i've attached the zip you can see how neat it came out like i said you can also use a lining now i am going to be cutting out the sleeve i've done that i have a video on how to draft a basic sleeve i'll put the link on the description box so i cut out 18 and a half inches for the length of the sleeve and i added half inch for joining allowance that is 19 inches so i'll be using the half inch to join to the flare i've also joined the side seam of the sleeve so the total length of the sleeve is going to be 26 inches i'll be cutting out 7.5 inches for the flare including sewing allowance to cut out the flare i am going to measure round this way all i have is nine inches so to calculate the radius radius is equals to circumference over 2 pi where the value of pi is 3.14 2 times 3.14 is 6.28 now my radius is 9 divided by 6.28 which is 1.4 inches i'll be using this pattern paper to cut out the flare this is 24 and a half inches by 18 inches so i folded it into two and into two again this way that is into four and i'll be taking my measurement from the folded edge so i'll mark the 1.4 inches i'll make it 1.5 inches because i want excess that i can pleat so i'll connect it this way and i'll mark the 7.5 inches From the folded edge it's nine inches so I'll mark nine inches round i will connect it this way and cut it out so if you want the exact measurement make sure you mark the one 1.4 inches so I marked 1.5 inches because I want to pleat, I want a little pleat around the sleeve. So I'll be cutting this out on my fabric. I've done that. Now I'll attach it to the sleeve. I'll place the right sides this way. Make my little tiny pleats and sew round by half inch. I've done that I've attached the flare on both sleeves and this is how beautiful it came out now I am going to attach it to the dress I've done that the easiest way to hem the flare is to pin it down before sewing but I am going to search round I've done that and this is how beautiful it came out I've also reduced the length of the top, like I said. I'll be uploading the video on how to make this beautiful long tiered skirt soon. I'll put the link on the description box. We have come to the end of this tutorial. If this was helpful, give this video a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be updated when I upload a new video. 
thank you guys for watching bye